Are you sure? Are you coming to Wales next year? Hello. I think there's a lot of differences in English accents, American accents, Australian, and even within the countries from the UK to South UK. I know the accents are really different. Is it the same in America? Yeah, absolutely. The, we have the southern accent, the northeastern accent, the midwestern accent, yeah, the California accent. <laughs> yep, very different. In America? So in Texas they talk like this. <laughs> How you doing? And then in the north they talk like this. You got a quarter for some coffee. <laughs> As she said before, California girls talk like this. Definitely a lot of differences within the countries and like in different countries as well. To me, um, I like Canadian accents actually. I can't do it, but I like them. <laughs> isn't when they say about, isn't yeah, that? They, yeah, they put the yeah, you and... Yeah, don't you know. Yeah. <laughs> kind of the only thing I know about American accent. Yeah. A boot. <laughs> In the UK, we have England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, so there is a lot of differences in the accents there. My family live in Wales, and these days when I speak to them on the phone, the accent's really different. <laughs> Wales' accent, I think, is a lot more sing-song. When she says, are you sure? She'll say, are you sure? <laughs> are, you are you coming to Wales next year? <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute. Look, the shop one is in the business one is what you do well. But all this, well, uh, there's more park. There's less parking spots. There's more people having the park. <laughs> what? The so, guy what who... was that? Yeah, what? <laughs> He's from the north of England, right? I actually had this real life happen in Korea where I met a northern English person and I was with an American person. Um, me and the Northern English person just started talking, chatting away, and then they said hi to the American person, and the American person looked at me like, what are they saying? <laughs> I really didn't understand what he was saying. Did you guys understand what he was saying? Not a word. <laughs> it just like happened so fast yeah. that I was like, wait, what? How does he sound to you? It, it was like a pure, like, just gibberish. I didn't yeah. understand a word. Yeah. I don't have any clue what he said. Sounded like a new language. Yeah. yeah. Something about sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> He's also speaking very fast, so that doesn't make it. It was still mostly gibberish, yeah. but at, at the one word that I could understand was park, but it sounded like he was saying pog. It, said, it didn't sound like park, it sounded like pog, pog, pog to me. I was like, what? <laughs> This video, I'm going to try to do it a little straight, straight training. I think you want me to do it a little straight training or 100% training. Like if I'm talking to my mother kind of training or my brother kind of training. Do you have an accent? I love it, but I didn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that accent, but couldn't really make out a word. It sounded like a mixed accent. And I heard some Asian accents in there. I think there's a lot of words which are very specific to the language yeah. and I wouldn't understand. It has that island feel to yeah. it, for sure. Right, yeah. Again, very sing-songy, mm. very... Mm -hmm. Cinema's a movie? Tranquis. Tranquis. No, Tranquis. Tranquis. What's the name? Tranquis. No, I told you Tranquis. Tranquis. <laughs> Okay. I told you, take a kiss. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Try this? Is that what he was trying to say? Try this? I really wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was trying to say the name of the movie. <laughs> I didn't. What was he saying? Like, try and kiss? I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. He kind of he seemed like an evil gremlin <laughs> almost at some point. <laughs> I thought he was saying try this, or the mom was trying to get him to pronounce it in a different way, but he couldn't. I think he was like saying the same word over and over again. Yeah, but what word was it? <laughs> Who knows? Does it sound like English to me? To mm. be honest, it sounds... It might sound a little bit like some English accents up in the north of England, but still, it's completely different to 
what I'm used to back home. <laughs> a big clap of thunder and then it commenced to raining. I've been working and working on this and I'm having a little bit of a trouble and as you can see, it's still side goggling. I understood Same. a fair bit of that. Yeah, that one was way easier yeah. to understand. I didn't catch the first bit, but then I heard her say like, oh, I'm working and working on this, and as you can see, I'm still having some trouble yeah. with this bit or something. Yeah. yeah, if I met her face to face, I would understand her, but the ones before this, it would be really <laughs> awkward. <laughs> yeah, I could understand it, but she was like saying it, not fast, but she there was like no stops between the words. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're trying, like constantly trying to catch what she's saying. Yeah. But you would understand. Yeah, it was fast. Depends on like how they speak. Because sometimes you can tell if it's natural or it's those exaggerated types. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say halfway like in their teenage years, they decide like, okay la, I want to speak with Angmo accent and then... <laughs> I'm really surprised. She sounded a little bit like someone from London. It's just a little bit, but yeah. I understood that a lot better than other countries' English accents. Mm, it was... Like when she first started speaking, it was okay. But then I think as she started exaggerating the accent more, like yeah. to really like give it the emphasis, uh, then I, I kind of lost it. And she kind of sounded Indian to me. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. It was like a mixture of like Asian and Indian accent. Yeah. Like I could also like kind of understand in the start, but then as she like talks faster and faster, I don't think, I think I lost it. Uh, yeah, I lost yeah. it at the end. Mm -hmm. I want to make more money, 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 money. I'm just expand because the people want the space, so I gotta make the space bigger. That's people can come and enjoy themselves. Oh. He spoke a lot slower than some of the other videos we've watched. So because he spoke slower, I found it a lot easier to understand him, even though there were some bits in there which I think the words entirely I didn't understand. Yeah, I think he like spoke something like more money and stuff like i understood mm -hmm. him but i think there were some words that were like specifically like in their i don't know accent or something yeah, yeah. i think he was actually the easiest to understand because he was very slow so you had time to process it yeah but it was strange like he was like because of more money or something like yeah. that. Or money, money. Is that how he said it? He was trying to say workspace and he said like workspace. I can't even do that accent, but yeah, <laughs> thankfully it was slow so you could understand it. Yeah, it kind of sounded like he was like swallowing the words or like really putting a lot of pressure with his lips mm. or something. Right? Yeah. Oh, he ate his front door. She's gone back to Alberta for a couple of weeks, and I met Arbor Grace, my father, for a couple of weeks when we just gone away up Labrador. But now we're going to be back at it again soon, so make sure you get your Vax passports like and get out and see the shows. You know, I have a laugh, boy, if you take What? Okay. <laughs> that, that is not the Canadian accent I'm used to. Um, <laughs> is that Canadian? I, I think I heard some words like, make sure to do something, but other than that, I heard nothing. It was like bird noises. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it was way too fast. Like I didn't understand any of that. It just sounded like pure gibberish. Yeah. Like you know the Sims when they when they <laughs> talk to each other. That's what he sounded like. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you could have a conversation with this person if he was willing to speak very slowly? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear much of an accent with the girl singing, but I didn't know what she was saying. I'm flying through the sky like a what? Yeah, same. I didn't hear it. I couldn't pick it up exactly. I think she was quite clear though. Like, I think mm. just because she was singing, maybe I missed some words, but it yeah. was, she was quite easy to understand. I didn't hear Like, much. she pronounced each word really clearly. Mm. A little bit yeah. like that, yeah. I think that's also like one of the reasons why we could kind of hear what she was saying clearly. It helped us understand. British people do speak like this. <laughs> that's true, yeah. I've met British people who talk like that and I couldn't understand them. They had to change their accent for me. <laughs> right. I wouldn't be able to understand them either. 
It just sounded like he was really mumbling, like he was really drunk or yeah, something. Yeah, like, he's a little like sh sounds. Have you heard this accent before in the UK? Yes, I what definitely area have. Is it? It's like northern Newcastle kind of accent. A lot of footballers had it in the 90s, I remember. So I remember them being on TV and being interviewed, and it was quite comical. <laughs> Would you understand what they were saying if, like, if you were talking to a S Scottish person? Sometimes I do. There's lots of different accents in Scotland as well. Recently I met a Scottish person and honestly I didn't understand everything he said. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes if the accent is really strong, oh. it's really hard for me to understand. Yeah, same. I can understand some of them, but like the older ones. So, as an American, did you understand this accent? <laughs> no. I mean, he sounded like he was very drunk. No, I only caught like two or three things. Yeah, did you guys understand any of I no. didn't understand that one at all. <laughs> <laughs> One long continuous rumble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Day to day, when you are dressed up fine like me, and you are zooting your gold watch and auto tinning, people will look at you and say, My man, you want to play? Hey! It's <laughs> a very theatrical accent. <laughs> I think I've heard it in like memes. <laughs> Yeah, it was very flamboyant, but I could understand yeah, most of it. But the thing was, he was, I think, using slang that we don't use in America. So I don't know what that slang meant. Yeah, yeah. he kept saying like, play. Play, I think play. he was saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what he was saying, but the other than that word, yeah. yeah, I could understand. I think what he, he was saying, like some guy approached him and said, where are you going, dressed like that? Something about the way you like to play. Or you're dressed like that if you're going to play or something like that? So we understood most of it. Yeah. yeah. Could probably speak to him face to face and struggle through the conversation. Yeah, yeah if he was willing to compensate for you. Yeah. yeah. I think the island accent was the hardest to understand because I think she threw in a lot of words that I've never heard before. She was speaking a mix of English and her own language that I couldn't keep up with. The first three were the hardest. Is it North Northern UK? The first one? Northumbria. Yeah, Trinidad and South Africa. I was like, I... The other languages, I could kind of like understand what they were trying to say and stuff. And I would like catch a few words, but the first few, I did not get a single word. Mm -mm. No. Nothing. It was interesting, like learning how different English can be. Because when you like say, I speak English, it's usually like, it's either American or British or an Australian accent. So you don't really think about the different variants of the English accent. It goes to show that even when you speak English, you might not understand all English speaking countries. Yeah, I think it's really fun to see how English has evolved in so many different ways all over the world and you think like oh I know this language and then you're like mm -hmm, do I know this language I'm not sure anymore I don't know what this is but yeah it's interesting I've had that experience with an Irish person I gave up and I just walked away because I couldn't understand him Today we listened to 11 different English accents If you liked the video please like, comment and subscribe We'll see you soon Bye, Bye. Thank you.